Welcome to this part of the Rediscovering Wellness series, a part of the Four Wing Balance Library. The Balance Library is an initiative of the Four Wing Balance Steering Committee. Today's session, we're going to focus on making goals work for us so we can achieve success. First, let's understand what a goal really is. A goal is the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or a desired result. Many people have made goals at some point in their lives regarding a variety of topics or life areas. Goals can be big or small. In this session, we'll be talking about how to make SMART goals. You may be aware of the acronym SMART. When looking at setting a goal, we want to make it SMART. This acronym states that each goal made should be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Let's take a look at each part of the acronym in more detail. S is for specific. Goals should be clear and specific. When drafting a goal, focus on these questions. First, what do I want to accomplish? We want to be as clear as possible. Second, why is this goal important? It needs to have meaning to you for some specific reason. Three, who is involved? Will there be someone that will help, help or support you through this goal? Four, where is this goal located? Will you be accomplishing this at home, at work, at the gym, somewhere else? And five, which resources or limits are involved? So do you need a gym membership? Do you need to work around multiple schedules? What other resources or limits might be, avail might be available or a barrier? So for example, if someone were to give the overarching goal of, I want to be more physically fit, they need to be more specific about it so it can actually be achieved. Physical fitness is different for everyone. So instead of saying, I want to be more physically fit, we could say, I want to accumulate 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity per week. This goal is important to my overall health as I want to ensure I lead a healthy life free of chronic disease and or disability. My friend Avery will be my running partner for the days I incorporate running in my program and a PSP fitness staff member will help me create a program. I will mostly work on my goal at home or outside. I will need to purchase new running shoes. My only limit is scheduling my exercise around work. As you can see, we've taken a very general goal and made it specific for this person. M is for measurable. Being able to measure progress and success of goals helps you to know where you are and stay motivated throughout the process. For someone who wants to accumulate 150 minutes of physical activity but starts at zero, it may not be realistic for them to reach 150 minutes in the first week. Instead, they may say that exercising for 30 minutes twice a week for two weeks will be good, and then they'll move this to three times a week and so on. Of course, keep in mind, if your goal is a physical activity type goal, we do wanna to talk to our healthcare provider before starting a new program. So remember, when we're looking at measurable, we're looking at how much, how many, and how will I know when it's accomplished. A is for achievable. Goals must be realistic and attainable to be successful. We want to stretch our abilities and comfort zone, but we still want to be capable of succeeding. When we set achievable goals, we're able to answer the questions of how, how we will accomplish this goal and how realistic the goal is based on any constraints we may face. For example, we may have financial constraints or time constraints. R is for relevant. Our goals must matter to us and not be solely as a result of someone else telling us what we should do. Goals should align with other current goals. Ask yourself whether the goal seems worthwhile and if it's the right time for that goal. For example, a pregnancy may not be the best time for a new fitness personal goal. T is for time bound. Without a deadline, there's no end to our goal. We must have a target date to focus on and work toward. When we have a deadline, we ensure we work on the goal rather than letting our other tasks take over. Ask when you will complete the goal, but ensure it's realistic. For example, learning to run a marathon will not happen in a week. Learning a new salad recipe, sure, you can learn that in a week. When we're setting SMART goals and working toward bettering our lives, we need to focus on long-term behavioral lifestyle changes rather than quick fixes. It's not about following a fad diet or a week-long grueling exercise program. We want to create healthy eating patterns, 
move more by being physically active and decreasing sedentary activity, achieve good sleep hygiene, and manage our mental and physical health. If you're interested in learning more about nutrition, check out the remainder of our sessions in our Rediscovering Wellness series.